Okay, this video is to show you how to, you know, just give you a, a little overview of how to change uh, sounds and create sounds in the Terrell um, synthesizer. I've loaded it in GarageBand. I've got a musical typing keyboard down here. Down here. Um, and I've just basically got the, the default sound in there. So now let's talk about some of these. Now this, I'm not going to be able to talk about every aspect of, of the synthesizer that we don't have time enough for in this course, but I'll give you some of the important ones that you can use to change the sounds and create your own sounds. So first we have um, this section up here called oscillators. And you basically have two oscillators sounding in um, the trail, shape one and shape two. So you can hear when I start to change the shape of an oscillator, I'll hold the note down. Maybe I'll get a little lower note here. If you want to set these parameters back to their original parameters, it's very easy to do. Just go option click right on the knobs and it will set them back. I'm not sure what it is on PC, but it's either alt or option or, or one of those. Um, next to these, we have uh, tune and fine tune. And this, this actually takes care of oscillator number two. Now, oscillators are your sound generating devices. So if I were to play a note, Um, you can also find use the fine tuning. So again, I'll set the parameter parameters back. Option clicking. So now we're back to our original sound. Um, so you can experiment with those. Next is the mixer, and this is just basically what you think it was. This is oscillator one. set these back you have to option click and double click which makes no sense or maybe you can just double click it yeah just double click it you don't even need the option I wonder if that works with this yep so if you just double click don't even worry about the option um, so those are your oscillators um, the sub is basically a note sounding below the original it sounds an octave for for those people that know music um, you don't have to know it but just know that it's a lower note <laughs> is going to add noise to the sound. So you can see where I'm starting to create already a, a cool sound. Um, ring modulations. Now that's changing the sound. I won't go into that too much. And feedback. So those are your, that's your mixer. So you can actually, you know, manipulate a, a tone like that. Um, next we have our filters, and this is probably the most important part of a um, subtractive synthesizer. And this cut frequency is going to basically cut um, certain frequencies and change our parameter of sound. Again, if I lower it, notice that my sound is getting a lot more mellow. Okay, and the resonance is going to add resonance wherever our cut frequency is set. with all these parameters as far as you know I've just used these three parameters I'm going to talk about some other ones in the next video um, but you notice I've already created a fairly interesting sound and understand you could take any of your presets and and manipulate them and change them and you can also learn by looking at the presets now if I wanted to save this sound um, first thing you got to do for GarageBand is you have to get rid of your musical typing because it won't allow you to because it's now defaulting to the, the player, and I won't be able to save the sound. So I get rid of that. Then I go up to save, and I'll just call this Rick's synth. And you can put your author in or whatever you want to do and just go apply. Now, the next time I go up to my presets, you notice there's my synth, Rick's synth, right there. I actually created this once before, so now I have two of these. But... Um, so you can save that and open it and change it and um, and 
store all your presets like that so you can come up with some some pretty unique sounds so this is video number one and next I'm going to talk about some other parameters um, for the, the trail <laughs>